Blessed Yule, everyone. Got my candles going this morning. Gotta say, I love how my God candles shining the brightest as the light returns. <sighs> it's gonna be a lovely day. Hello everyone, welcome to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It's very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are witchy or Halloween oriented, cat lady box unboxings, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. If any of that interests you, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Also, hit the bell so you are notified every single time I upload. And uh, give me a big thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. I do these witchy unboxings at least once a month, if not maybe sometimes more than that, if I have other items that could pertain to it. Hint, hint for the new year. <laughs> um, so yeah, today's video, if you see the title, we are gonna be unboxing the Witch's Roots for December. Now, I've had this box on my dining room table for I don't know, a couple of weeks, honestly. I had planned to save it to do more of a full moon unboxing, kind of like I did last month, but then I've just been quite under the weather and that didn't happen. So I figure, why not make this a whole like solstice Yule celebration? So that's what we're doing. I even dressed up for the occasion. Let me show you. I got my, uh, you can't really see too much with the lighting, but this is my dark green velvet dress I got. This was in my Killstar unboxing, which if you haven't seen, I'll link it up here. It'll also be in the description down below if you're interested in that. Um, I have a lovely little brooch. This is also Killstar um, from long, long ago. My Yule tree, all my holiday decorations. So I figure let's just do a full Yule celebration. Also, if you celebrate Christmas, that's in a few days as well. So I figured this would be a great holiday celebration for everyone. I am obviously releasing this on the 21st, which is the solstice. I figured I would do that rather than my normal Thursday upload just because I did want to release it on the holiday. And also my husband has a few days off coming up and I wanted to spend time with him around Christmas and Yule rather than be worrying about filming and editing a video. So that's why this is coming out a little bit earlier, but I thought it seemed more appropriate. So let's just go ahead and get into the unboxing. Enough of my jabbing. So as always, I can't remember what the theme is. I always forget to look at their Instagram. They do post what the theme is. By the way, this is not a sponsored video, um, but hey, which is Moon, if you wanna sponsor your girl, you know I obviously love you. I'm here every month, <laughs> so feel free to reach out. I'm really excited to see what we get. You know I always love their stuff. Let's see what the theme is. There's a little paper with all the goodies written down, but I just wanna see what the theme is. The Evening Ritual. Oh my gosh, this is perfect to be doing this. I'm actually filming this the day before the solstice. For you, it's the day of, so it's kind of a perfect video to be doing with this theme. So really excited. I'm curious what the herb is gonna be. Okay, so it looks like we have, I can't remember what they even call these. The little, um, yep, see my brain. Fibro brain is, is that brain frog is, is hitting me hard. What do they call it? Sigil. Sweet Lord. Okay, so this was the Wondrous Slumber Sigil. Okay, I'll read to you what it says. For the sigil, I fall into a deep and wondrous slumber full of intrigue and mystery. Place the sigil near your bed at night or recreate it on associated tools. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please note that the top of the sigil is marked with a dot. Okay, so that way I appreciate that. Sometimes I never know which way to do it or which way they are meant to be hung or, you know, used. So it's our little dot. So that's cool. I always love these. I think they're fun to, uh, you know, you could, if you frame them or use them as, you know, they're intended. I like the whole, um, the deep sleep, I'm trying to think how you could potentially use this. Maybe if you're wanting to do some like lucid dreaming, I know it says a deep and wonder slumber full of intrigue and mystery. So maybe this would be really cool if you were wanting to do um, some lucid dreaming work. Maybe draw this on something or place it near your pillow before going to sleep, maybe underneath your pillow even. And then burn, was it mug, mugwort? I think is really great for lucid dreaming. Definitely check that before you do that, but I'm pretty sure burning a little bit of um, mugwort 
really, really helps with that. So very cool, love it. Moss agate is our stone. This is cool. I don't think we often get artwork for the stone. Oh, this is beautiful. Elemental is earth. You guys know me, I love working with elements, which I gotta say, there's um, a project and someone I'm gonna be collabing with that, well, maybe a author I'm collabing with. Um, I'm gonna be promoing their book. It's coming up in January and they do a lot of elemental witchcraft, which is amazing and it's also this person is kind of my mentor. She's who I learned from. So I'm really excited to be reviewing her book, but um, it's elemental witchcraft, which for me is very much how I connect to things. If I'm having an issue with something, whether mentally or physically or whatever, I look at what element this could be attributed to. And I do a lot of work focusing on that, whether opening myself up to it or whatever. Um, that's why different crystals, like things can bring associations to that element connected to that problem. This is for me, especially like when it comes to like mental or emotional or, or just working through things. That's why I think this is perfect. So anyway, oh my gosh, jabbing about the stone, which is moss agate. So thanks for the spoiler. <laughs> anyway, our, ooh, our herb is green tea. Love, again, earth is the element as well as Jupiter. But the actual element, the celestial influence is earth and Jupiter. The element is earth. So sorry if there's a little glare on this. I absolutely adore green tea, especially like jasmine green tea, like the jasmine pearls. If you're into like green tea, definitely try the jasmine pearls, the loose jasmine pearls. It is my favorite tea and it tastes like honeysuckle smells, which is one of my favorite smells on this earth. Like every time spring comes around and I start smelling the wild honeysuckle, even though it's invasive and not great, that smell is, I don't know, there's something about it I absolutely love. So jasmine green tea pearls are perfect. Anyway, I'm digressing like crazy y'all. You can tell I haven't filmed in a little while. A lot of the stuff you guys have watched, I pre-filmed a couple of weeks ago. So obviously a little out of practice, but anywho, yay, <laughs> green tea for being our herb. Oh, yay. You can never have enough of these as a tea lover. Looks like we got a little tea ball in a beautiful, look at this, olivey green mesh bag. I mean, you can't, again, you can't super tell, but this is a dark, dark green velvet. I love green. I love like, especially mossy, earthy kind of green. I guess all green could be earthy in one way or another. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. So I was just expecting like kind of a generic tea ball, which these are always awesome, but there's this lovely little pendant handing, hanging from it. So this side has these beautiful swirls. And then the other side has this inscription that says, let your spirit unfurl. I love that, honestly especially with the jasmine pearl tea, because those kind of unfurl like, you know, blossoms. So probably gonna use this specifically with that, but I'm curious, I gotta make sure the tea that they give us, sometimes they're not meant for ingested, it's meant for ritual. So probably should look at all these. Okay, so that is an, oh, it's an oak leaf. Oak leaf tea ball infuser. Ooh, I do like this, the clasp that opens this, it says can be easily open. That's actually really, really nice. As someone who sometimes has issues with coordinating their fingers, I actually really like, oh my gosh, you can't see. There you go. This little clasp here opens pretty easily. That's actually really, really nice because some of the ones I have are obviously cheaper and um, they are a little bit harder for me to use. So we're like, they're the kind that twist together. So this is really, really nice. We got some rope incense. I really hope this is a scent I like. Many times these are um, like rose, especially with that pink there. That makes me extremely nervous. I hope it almost matches my tree. I don't have a pink tree, but the lights make it look like a funfetti cupcake. By the way, if you haven't seen my holiday decorating video, I will link that down below as well and put it right here. <laughs> Just recommending everything today. <laughs> This doesn't smell like anything. Like very, very mild. It honestly just smells kind of like, kind of like fresh laundry, but very, very light. I have no idea. Maybe when it burns, it's a little bit stronger. 
it almost reminds me of like white tea because white tea is so like mildly scented. Let's see what it says. Oh, it's sandalwood. I love sandalwood. I don't, if it's sandalwood, it's extremely mild sandalwood, which can be good because sometimes if you have just one particular herb that is scenting something, it can be very strong. So honestly, not mad at it, not mad at it. I'm just gonna read the description of what it says. This very unique incense is made by hand through a process that involves rolling and twisting incense into a small braided form. As you allow the smoke from this incense to waft through your space, allow your spirit to break free from anxiety, starting the process of healing. Light the red tip of one piece of rope incense, blow it out, and place within a fire safe bowl. Okay, that's cool. I'm glad that they tell us. I mean, I feel like it's fairly obvious, but you never know, I suppose. But I like the whole focus on anxiety. I feel like this time of year, a lot of us really suffer from depression and anxiety or just, you know, mental issues in general, especially sometimes holidays in general can cause. Sometimes, I know for me, it's seasonal affective disorder. So I like that they're bringing stuff that's very intentional to focusing on getting through that. So really, really nice. All right, so I'm gonna guess this is our oil. Let me unwrap it. Sedatio. Okay, this says sedatio. It's like, are they meant to be like, it's like a sedative? They were talking about deep sleep. Well, I mean, this is the time to really do divination, really go in deep, but I don't know if I necessarily need a sedative for that. Let me give it a smell. God, this is so light too. Almost almost frankincense like but like very like frankincense oil have you guys ever smelled that before that's kind of what this reminds me of it is so so mild it does look like there's herbs in it i imagine there's a lumerian quartz because that's kind of what they normally do let me see what the paper says also sorry if it all sounds weird i got a new mic i think i mentioned it in the I don't know whichever video, but it's going right now. So hopefully the sound is good. I mean, we're inside, so we don't have a whole lot of sirens and all sorts of distractions like that. But I'm really hopeful that this just keeps it clear in general. So let me know in the comments, does this sound good to you? Hopefully so. Okay, let's read it. It says, um, this anointing oil has been created with the intention of bringing calming, grounding, and relaxation energies into your dealings. We recommend working with this oil when you're getting close to sleep to fully benefit from its herbal qualities. We've enchanted this magical anointing oil with green tea, chamomile, lang lang, lavender, vanilla, and lemon oils, and have included lemon balm and green tea herbs as well. You'll also find a Lumerian quartz. We've also included a special mixture of our Silent Night magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this oil. Okay. So I like that, again, this all seems to be really working into, I, I'm really, I don't know, for me, I, I see it as like a lucid dreaming like kind of whole box because they're really working on getting into a good place before you go to sleep. So maybe that just means relaxing in general, but for me, I guess when I think of like sleep work, I go straight to lucid dreaming because I've done that a couple of times and it's, it's intense, but it can be really beneficial. By the way, if anybody's ever done lucid dreaming, comment down below, let me know. I get the chamomile, well, okay, I don't get it, but I could see how there could be chamomile and green tea. Lang Lang is nice, because I, I was smelling like almost like a very generic uh, carrier oil, like almost like almond oil or jojoba or something like that. So I get the Lang Lang being there. I don't really smell lavender. Vanilla I could get because it's very, very mild, kind of creamy. Lemon I don't get either. I can see how they would want this to be fairly mild because if you're anointing yourself with this right before going to sleep, you don't want it to be too, too strong because then you're going to be distracted and not relaxing, you know? So I'm liking this. I'm, I'm curious. I'm definitely going to try this probably tomorrow, which for you would be today, <laughs> the day you're watching this, if you're watching this, um, the day it's released. So I'm probably going to try it that night to kind of do, um, a little like, I don't know, ritual before bed. So interesting. All right. So we have our candle. Looks to be a nice dark green. It's actually close to the color of my dress that <laughs> you can't tell it's green. <laughs> so we have a really nice 
dark green beeswax candle and I love these they are a great size for workings they burn really well and really evenly a silent healer mini candle um, we have rolled this with the intention of bringing harmony and tranquility into your space as you allow the flame to dance before you take the time to relax and let go of any anger fear or frustration that's cool I'm going to actually read because I didn't really notice at the beginning <laughs> Honestly, maybe they've done this every month and I've never noticed because I'm obviously paying attention. The very top underneath it, they kind of um, are underneath the title. It seems like they give you their intention for the month and for this whole box, which makes sense. So I'm going to read that to you because I should have done that at the beginning. As the sun sets in the sky and the moon takes over, we rest easy and content in her guided glow. It is when the evening welcomes us each day that we can truly look inwards, revisiting progress and letting go of harmful energies that we may have attached themselves to us over the previous hours. It is during this time that we can truly focus on our well-being and start to process the emotions and intentions of our actions and thoughts. It is very easy to get caught into being absorbed into other activities each night while avoiding and stepping around self-care and ritual work. During this month, it is so important that we take the necessary time to rest within our magical practices and routines. In this very special collection, we work towards creating a relaxing and thought-provoking atmosphere as we settle into our evening rituals. It's important to always remember that your path is sacred to your individual self. We recommend taking the time to connect with the items in the box and use them in any way that feels correct to you. Every practitioner resonates with different ideas and ways of performing ritual. And then here are the items. I love that. I like that they know that everybody's practice is going to be a little bit different. Everybody's going to have different associations or um, uses for these things. So I think that's really nice. And I like also they talk about this month being one where we really delve in. Because I know for me, like as an, a Virgo and like an earth person, um, I am always like probably a little too much even going inward and doing a lot of of resonating and kind of just I don't know deep thoughts thinking about things probably overthinking so for me even this will be a challenge to not go too deep to overthink but I think it's really important to resonate it's okay so oh my gosh I'm gonna get into this when we do the elemental magic witchcraft book with heron but earth there's aspects of it there's both the inward and the outward so the outward is to be silent to just sit there take things in but you don't need to always say something the inward aspect of it is to resonate to really take time to go inward and focus on how am I feeling with this and so for me that's part I tend to I don't know I am both a resonator and a to be silent person hardcore as an earth baby so I think I really love this box because it speaks to me as that aspect of my personality so um anyway you probably didn't need to know any or all of that okay I gotta finish gotta finish unboxing there's there's things in here oh, lord that was that was quite a tangent I'm sorry for you if you did not enjoy that but <laughs> another little baggie with our moss agate this is beautiful. So again, I think if you were gonna be doing some maybe dream work, put this in a little satchel with maybe that sigil. Um, maybe if you are gonna do some like potential mugwort or anything, put that in a little satchel with this, put it underneath your pillowcase. I think that could be really beneficial for some lucid dreaming. Maybe do some more research on that before you really go into it if you haven't done it before, but um, lovely stone, I like this. It's beautiful too. I love this. My favorite color. <laughs> Let's see if it says anything specific about our stone. Okay. A balancing and restorative stone. Moss agate is a wonderful healing companion to keep close with you, to you during the day. To wait. To keep close to you during your day. Hour. During ritual. I think they messed up there because that is hard. That, uh, there you go. Yeah. To keep close to you during your day or during ritual, I think is what they mean. This beautiful stone has the unique ability to open your eyes to the beauty that surrounds you, eliminating the constant thoughts that may distract you. After working with the meditating and meditating with this stone for a while, 
you will be you will begin to, I can't talk at all today, huh? You will begin to spark new ideas and see creative perspectives that you were once that were once blocked by anxiety and fear. Sweet Lord, that was like the hardest paragraph for some reason. Planetary associations is moon, elemental is earth, and zodiac is Virgo. That's probably why I'm like, oh my gosh, this is my stone. I need it all the time around me. I, I just I'm always drawn to green, so it's malachite, one of my 100% favorites. Labradorite, not green, but love this as well. Okay, anyway, let's get to, we have a couple of things left. We have Dreamscapes Ritual Herbal Tea. Okay, so I'm glad that they're giving us tea with their little tea ball. In addition to including green tea with this collection, we also included a special blend of Dreamscapes Ritual Tea to relax and calm your nerves in preparation for ritual, self-care, or study. This unique tisane? tisane, I don't know what that means. This unique tisane, T-I-S-A-N-E, anybody know what that means? Comment below. Has been created with chamomile, passion flower, lemon ball, oat straw, linden flower, lemon verbena, fennel, calendula, and nutmeg. <laughs> wow. This medley of wonderful herbs is sure to ease your mind and bring you peace and tranquility to your spirit. That is a serious combination. I gotta smell this. Cause like you have some calming stuff and then you get like nutmeg, you get fennel. I, my brain is confused. Doesn't smell like much of anything. Smells very light. That doesn't make any sense. But my nose has been really sopped up the past couple days so. Well, I'm curious to see how it tastes at least. <laughs> I'm sure I can taste it better than I can smell it. And then we have our green tea. Oh, shun, shun mai. Shun mai. Oh, okay. I've never heard that name for it. Oh, okay. I'm going to guess that's the Chinese name because it's talking about it. Or originated in Southwest China. Green tea is a wonderful companion to have stocked in your herbal cabinet. As you are about to begin any ritual associated with these attributes, oh, it goes into um, what it can be good for, lowering heart disease, risk of heart disease, protect against cancer. As you're about to begin any ritual associated with these attributes, take the time to make a cup of green tea to accompany you. As you breathe in the subtle notes of plum and apricot, Allow your thoughts to be dismissed, focusing on the task ahead with a clear view of the world that surrounds you. Preparing this tea, use the oak leaf, feel free to use the oak leaf ball infuser, allowing the tea to rest in the water for seven to 15 minutes. I'm kind of surprised by that. Most green tea, you don't want to steep it. You don't want to do it in boiling water for one. You want to do it in like just under boiling. If you do it, you steep it too long, it becomes very bitter. So, this smells like nothing either. Oh my God, I'm not sick, am I? <laughs> I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'm curious by that though. I usually really love green tea, so I imagine this is gonna be good. It's kind of freaky, I can't smell anything. I don't even think I'm sick, y'all. Not like that, I haven't run a fever. Oh my God. Please don't let me be sick. I can taste things, but you can't smell anything. So I guess it's just gotta be stopped up nose, right? Send happy thoughts. Okay, let's go over everything that was in our box. We had the green tea, the ritual escapes, or the dreamscapes ritual herbal tea, green tea herbal grimoire artwork, oak leaf tea ball infuser, tumbled moss agate, moss agate book of shadows reference artwork, silent healer mini spell candle, sedatio magical anointing oil, sandalwood Ritual Rope Incense, and then the Wondrous Slumber Sigil Print. Okay, so that's everything. I'm, I'm really excited. There's actually some really, well, there's always really good intentional things, but for me, I think I connect a lot with this as an earth baby, like I've said 10,000 times, but I'm really excited to work with this. I hope you all are having a wonderful holiday season. I know it can be rough for a lot of you, so if you're struggling at all, just know I'm sending you lots of virtual hugs. You got this. Just... Keep on sticking with me 
few more months will be to spring and hopefully it will all get better. But yeah, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season, however you decide to spend it. And I will um, probably be taking about a week or so off because I just want to spend some time with my husband for the holiday and just recuperate. It's been a crazy past couple months for me. Um, but it definitely as the new year, I'll have to look at the dates. Um, but I am very excited because I definitely have some fun things planned for the new year. So I'm really excited for that. Yeah, thank you all again so much for joining me for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you're interested in subscribing to the Witch's Moon or the Witch's Room, I will leave that information down in the description below. Also, I do have a Patreon. If you like these kind of videos and you would love to help support me in order to be able to continue doing these, um, I'll leave the link down below. You know, you guys never have to, but I always love and appreciate the support. It really does help and mean a lot in me continuing to be able to do these kind of things. So um, yeah, thank you guys again. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.